Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Andy. Today we're going to see how we can use scripting to automatically send packets using the scripting project in Andy. So first thing that we want to do is to start a new project. And we can do that by clicking on the new scripting project button. Here we'll be prompted on a location where we can save it. So in this case I will save it as we are uh, and name it demo. First you will be prompted to do the adaptive configuration. Uh, in this case, I have Tunix, D-Link and Realtek connected as a loop. Uh, so I will use the D-Link uh, for the scripting and press OK. So now we want to uh, create new scripts. So we can go to the Project Explorer and we can find, we can right click on the scripts and then add script. This will add a template script so we can uh, control A and then delete and start from scratch. So in this uh, tutorial, we will just create a simple UDP frame that we can uh, manipulate the, some header information and some payload and then just uh, send it. So first thing that we want to do is to add a make a variable where we can uh, actually store our uh, UDP message. So we can mm, write a message or rather test underscore message and then we can assign it to and here we can use one of the first big features of scripting is the message builder tool. So we can use this to uh, create whatever message that we uh, want to create. So in this example, we will create a UDP message. So this is just template uh, function that will automatically create a UDP message with some default uh, uh, default information in the header and the payload. So in this, let's say that we want to add some payload, so we can use the test uh, message dot payload. And we can assign it to, and we have assigned it to array of uh, bytes. So system dot array, and then we have byte, and then what information inside. So here we have. Uh, zero, one, zero 01 and we have 33 and we have last zero like this and we also we want to change the uh, some header information so then we can you do the same thing we can use the message and we have the autocomplete here as well so we just select uh, select whatever we want and then press tab and now we can see whatever we have here. So here we have a bunch of uh, functions that we can use. In this case, I want to change the IPv4 header. So we will press that one and enter. And then we have some information on the header that we can change. Uh, checksum, uh, fragmentation, identification, identification, IP address, and so on. So we want to change the destination and the source IP in this case. So we can st start with the source. And here we want it to be String, so we want it to be a one ninety two dot one six eight dot zero. This, and we can actually uh, copy this, and then we can do the same, but we changed it to the destination. So we can remove this and have the IP address of the destination, and we can change this to one hundred, for example. And uh, we can change some more stuff. Uh, we can do like this, and then we can see what what can we change more. Um, we change the UDP header, so we will double click on that one, and then we can see what we can change. So here we can change the port. So we'll change the, the destination and the source port. So we start with the source, and this is an integer. So change it to nine 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 nine. And then we can use the same, we can either copy it or we can just write it. We have the destination here, and then we can set it to 10,000. So now we have created the default UDP message. We add, added some uh, payload to it, some bytes. We changed the IPv4 header IP address source and the destination and also the the port source and destination so now we can actually uh, send this so we just use take the variable and then we can use 
one of the functions and one dot function should be sent. So we can just double click on that and this is it. So now when we run it, you see that it starts and it finished. So now let's see what happens in the traffic viewer. Go to the start menu and open the traffic viewer. So now we have the traffic viewer. Uh, we can select an interface. We will choose the Viltek one, which is the end of the other one that we used as a sender. So double, double click on that and see here. So now we see that we have a bunch of uh, spam here. So we can actually filter on source IP address and we can take the address that we uh, check and I think it was 99 so we do like this uh, and then we can go back here and we can run it twice we can see it here that we got these two UDP message with the with the correct payload so now we can just change here let's say that we want to have uh, uh, 98 and this we want to be 1 and this can be 98 and this can be 1 and we want to add some more payload let's say we add uh, 0 0 and then 0 1 and then we can run it twice again so now we need to change here so change from 99 to 98 And we can see the other two when we change. So there's additional payload, the destination is changed, the source is changed. So this is how you do simple scripting uh, in Andy. Scripting is uh, way more powerful than this and it has a lot of support for, for example, databases you can add to have pre-made uh, messages and you can create messages that you can use uh, there is a ton of features that we will go in more depth in future videos but uh, thanks for watching see you